Due to holiday season, the airport looks very crowded. The arrival area. The new airport is coming up. The work is going quite fast now. This is really a very small airport. You need to fill the traveler's declaration form online before you depart and even for arrival it's the same thing. Here are all the counters of the resorts. Once you arrive you come one to one of these counters and uh, from there you are taken care. Yesterday one of our doctor came from India he was telling that mask is getting compulsory is made compulsory uh, need to check as of now I don't see anything here no announcement there as far as Maldives is concerned December January is the most uh, like the best season in Maldives uh, most of the tourists from Europe and other parts of the world come here New Year, Christmas celebrated in Maldives and the rates are very high and most of the resorts would be full. One question if anybody knows, uh, if you are using action camera and you do the digital zoom and you take videos uh, and um, is it like the quality would be good uh, compared to the like if we take the normal uh, videos and we zoom it only during the post production uh, because I felt that uh, if we do the digital zoom it's not really worth it because uh, the quality would matter Check out the price, $50,888. I prefer to do my duty free shopping at the Bangalore airport, the new one, Terminal 2. They have wide choices and they accept US dollars. You don't need to like carry this from all the way uh, from Maldives to India. I'm sure the new airport will be having amazing duty free shops, good place to shop like something. Dubai and all, you get really good collection, really good stuff. That's the new airport terminal coming up. Air India is also operating from Mali to Bangalore. Next time I'll be traveling on Air India. That's the plan. I was regularly using Air India, but maybe during COVID time they had stopped and uh, when the they like Tata Core they had stopped the operations but now they have restarted. Yeah.